I've got another Too Faced holiday set to share with you guys today, and this one is the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau. I purchased this one off of the Too Faced website. I believe this one is also available on the Ulta website. There is another palette, a skinnier one, that I have ordered. This is another Too Faced holiday palette. You'll have to let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. I don't think it's supposed to roll up till next Tuesday or something. There's also another Tarte one that's I've only seen on Macy's and the Tarte website. I've been thinking about getting that one. I do have the Ulta Tarte one coming though, however. Um, yeah, fill me in on what you guys want to see on those. <laughs> the packaging on this is so cute. It's smaller than the Sephora version of this, so this is something I might actually hang on to. Other ones so you can see the size difference in them. This box is really cute, the packaging is really cute, but this is smaller and compact. It's really cute. <laughs> the top of the chateau comes off like that, and then the little doors open up it's like magnetized in there and you do have another deluxe size sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara which is a decent mascara and then here's the inside of the packaging there are three smaller palettes inside of there and each one of these contains six eyeshadows that are 0 0.04 ounces a piece and one face product which is 0.19 ounces so you're getting a nice amount of product in each of these there's a total of 18 eyeshadows and three face products two blushes and a bronzer which I'll get into that in a minute I did do a demo with these which is what's on my face right now if you're interested in that it'll be towards the end of the video I used a little something from each one of these palettes I used the Jolie bronzer on my face to warm up my face and it's um it's got some like uh, gold not silver <laughs> a little bit of gold shimmer running through it however I don't feel like it's overly shimmery on my face and it's a decent color as well Too Faced's bronzer is pretty nice and then for the blush I use this Trey Fob pink blush on my cheeks and I used these three matte eyeshadows up here from the crease upwards on my eyes I used this purple province shade on the lid and then parfait in the inner portion of the eyelid and these here colors are like based on just looking at them they're they're nothing that I haven't seen from Too Faced already like all of the colors I feel like I may <laughs> I may have three or four of the same ones. I know that there's a couple in here that are just renamed shades. I did have to do a little bit of building and blending with the mattes from the crease upwards, but I'm happy to say that they did build and blend for me, so that's good. I also had just a little bit of fallout with these matte shades up here, but it wasn't terrible. So here is the little chateau up close. It is, it is really, really cute. <laughs> and then there's the back, and here's the top that pops off. And then you open up the little doors which are magnetized to this bottom piece here. And then you've got Too Faced it says in there and then your little palettes pull out. <laughs> and that's what the inside looks like. And there's your deluxe sized Better Than Sex mascara as well. All of the packaging is cardboard and there aren't any mirrors included in this set. So here's the first little palette. It's the pink, baby pink with the pink bow on it. And then on all three of these two, if you want to do like give these separately to somebody, they do have the to and from on the back. So here is the inside of this palette. And the only thing that I used out of here was the bronzer, which is called Jolie. For eyeshadows, there's a more, which is the only matte eyeshadow in this little palette. Everything else has got some shimmer or sheen to it. You've got Fleur, Je Tom, Moi, Cherie, and Toot Sweet. And Toot Sweet does have some uh, finer not as chunky as some of the other Too Faced glitter shades, but it does have some fine silver glitters in there. So let's give you guys a swatch of these. Ooh, ooh. And then the bronzer. Next we have got the black palette with the baby pink bow on it. And inside of here are your shades. You've got Le Marais. I think that's how it's pronounced. Rendezvous, which is a matte, Province, Parfait, Trey Chic, which has got the glitter in it, and then Noir, which is a matte black. Now this Trey Chic shade and like if you were to pack this over a really sticky black base, you're gonna be able to see that gold sparkle. However, I'll show you guys something. 
which is something that I do uh, kind of with glitters. This is what it looks like. Now I'll show you, watch. That's all of pretty much the glitter, and then you're left with pretty much a matte black eyeshadow. And there are two shades that are like this. One is in the other, the other palette, which I'll show you as well, but that's something to make note of in the Tray Chic shade. I think that blended out, these are going to be like just a matte black color. Unless you really plan on packing this on and not giving it a blend, then I think your sparkles will stick. And then there's the Trace Fab blush, which is kind of a satin finish. So let me go ahead and swatch these guys for you. And then here is the blush. And then the next palette is the Baby Blue and Teal Bow palette, and this is like your neutral one. The glitter shade that I was talking about that's going to be pretty much black unless you pack it on um, is this shade called Wee. It's one of them chunky, chunky glitter shades like the one that I had showed you in the previous palette. Um, Pot de Creme, <laughs> Fifi, and La Femme are all matte eyeshadows. And then these two are some really pretty shimmers. And then you've got your blush in Mademoiselle. So let's give you a swatch. And then these next one, these two are really, really beautiful colors. And then the blush, which this blush it also has a little bit of a satin feel to it, satin matte feel. I do like this little set. I am happy that there aren't quite as many glittery shades in this set as there was in the Sephora set. Um, two are the chunkiest. I think they're just going to be black matte eyeshadows to be honest unless you really go above and beyond to try to get the sparkle to stick. But it is a really cute little holiday set. I think I like this one slightly better than the Sephora version. Anyway, if you guys want to see these products perform and the look that's on my face, you can hang tight and we will get into it right now. Let's get some color on this face. I'm gonna go into this little pink palette here and there's a bronzer in here called Jolie. It does have some gold shimmers running through it. And I'm going to use that on a Tom Ford bronzer brush number five. And just warm up this face. And then the blush I'm going to use is in the black palette, and it's called Tre Fob. And I'm going to use that on a Goss number 14 brush. So dip a bit in here. And then to finish off the face, I'm going to use the Guerlain Meteorites in the shade 2 Claire on an MK3 brush. I'm just going to swirl my brush in there and buff this lightly all over the face. I primed my lids from the lash line to up underneath the brow already. And if you guys don't know, I do list everything that's on my, like my entire face down in the description box. I'm going to go into this little black and baby pink colored palette. And I'm going to go into the shade uh, Parfait which is right here on a Goss number 18 brush. And I'm going to put this on the inner corner. Pick up some more. And 
Then I'm going to go into the shade Province, which is a mid-tone purple. It's got some little blue shimmers in it. I'm going to pack this on the outer portion of the lid and then blend it into the Parfait shade. Then I'm going to move over to the Blue Teal palette on a GSN number 9 brush. I'm going to pick up the shade La Femme, which is a matte brown. And I'm going to put this in the crease and bring it up Then on a gloss 9 brush, I'm going to lay down some of this Pot de Creme shade, which is a matte cream color, underneath the brow. On a Hakuhodo J146 brush, I'm going to go into the shade Fifi, <laughs> and I'm going to blend out the crease color with that. Fifi. <laughs> I'll probably have to go back in with that darker color and blend that a bit better. I've got a little bit of fallout here. Without picking up any more product, I'm going to take that GSN 9 and just run it through here. And then back in with the J146 brush. And then in with the Goss 3 up on top here. Well, there's the eyeshadow done before I put on the rest of my eye makeup. Um, I'm going to go do that right now and then I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. I'm going to line my lips with the Marc Jacobs Pout Liner in the shade Nudist. And then to fill them in, I've got one of the Too Faced La Creme lipsticks, and this is in the shade Taffy, right here. So there is the overall finished look using the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!